This part is probably from a locomotive. This part is probably from a locomotive. An old locomotive bell. This place serves as a storage area for the station. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. A telegraph. A new telegram. I think we should meet this, Mr. Robinson. Here is the train set. According to the train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Uh, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. Was there anything exceptional about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? Oh, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, but now that you mention it, yes, there was something. 
There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. But what kind of problem that they didn't say? That is interesting. You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it on the local map? Of course. It's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. See you later, my good man. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely rude about it. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared, but I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, the ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, of course their type don't need a ticket. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Goodbye, sir. It's a scam, an absolute outrage.
good day to you, sir. Good day. To whom am I speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes. It was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention. But I was very optimistic about the director's board who traveling on the train last night. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. How they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazas Company? It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Hmm. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received the telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed, so I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable! The timetable is strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot! You will pay for it! I will sue you! The ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company.
I will not move from here until I receive my refund. <laughs> 